Now is the time to worship the Creator of heaven and earth. Now is the time to glorify His name. Now is the time to sing our hearts out. Now is the time to surrender everything and worship the one and only God. Hi guys, welcome to God's Reporter Christian Ministry. I'm your host, David Fry, and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button below the screen. I'm also on social media at, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. First of all, though, let's start out with a prayer. Father God, I love you, and I thank you for today. I thank you for another opportunity to come and share your word, Lord. I thank you for the people who watch these, watch my YouTube channel and are on social media, Lord. I pray for them all. I pray that you will help them with their struggles, with their sickness, with anything that they ask you for that they need. I hope you that they will be taken care of, Lord. I pray for this country and this world, Lord. Pray that you will put your healing hands around it and heal this awful virus that is going around, Lord. Thank you in your precious name I pray. Amen. I want to talk to you today a little bit about worry or the overabundance of worry that is going around in the world today. I know a lot of worriers. I have a family full of worriers. It seems to be human nature in most people, but we need to turn that human nature into Christ's nature. We need to take that worry and turn it into worship. We need to take that worry out of the equation. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 34 it says, Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow has its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. In other words, don't spend your life worrying about what's coming. Don't wor don't spend your life worrying about tomorrow. Worrying if you're going to have a job tomorrow. Worrying if you're going to be able to put food on the table tomorrow. Worrying if you're going to be able to pay a bill tomorrow. Instead, we need to be getting on our knees and praying to God. We need to ask Him for what we need instead of worrying about where, where it's going to come from. You know, we can't... If we take our faith and put it over fear, we have nothing to worry about. But if we lose our faith in God, then that means we are being consumed by worldly fear. And worldly fear is a disease. Worldly fear can take a Christian person and make them turn their back on God in a heartbeat. Worldly fear can consume a person. Worldly fear can take the Christian and turn them around to serve Satan. Worldly fear is what Satan uses on, on God's people. We have to use faith over fear. We must take our worries and turn them into worship and watch our battles turn into blessings. I've seen many battles turn into blessings. I've seen people worrying about whether they were going to have a job and then they go in the next day and they and their job is secure. Or I've seen people worry about not going to have a job and they do lose their job. But a week later they get another job that is better at pay and better hours than what they had before. You see, when, when a door closes and our faith takes over, another door opens. And when usually it's one better than the one we were in before. We can't lose our faith in God. 
We can't continue to worry about everything. We must worry less and pray more. If we continue to pray, if we continue to worship Him, if we continue to praise His name, and we continue to glorify His, we have nothing to worry about. Faith, hope, praise, worship, love, prayer, they're all key, concrete, key ingredients to a miracle. They're key ingredients to blessing. If we use those key ingredients to the best of our ability, if we pray every morning and every night and every chance we get, there's no need for worry. God has our back. God protects us. If we pray for a hedge of protection around us, He will he will protect you. He protects me daily. You see, I don't worry that much because I have the privilege and the honor of serving Him. And you can have the same privilege and honor of serving Him. It may be something small, it may be something big, but whatever it is, you're serving Him and glorifying His name in whatever you do. Quit worrying. Enjoy life the way God meant us to. Don't worry about what's coming up. I don't worry about what's coming up. I take it as it comes. And then if it's trouble, I pass it on to God. Instead of worrying about and saying, what am I going to do? We need to start saying, Lord, I lay this at your feet. I lay this trouble at your feet, Lord. I'll give it to you so that you can take care of it. If I need to do something to get rid of this trouble, guide me. Tell me what it is, and I will do it. That's when you see, when we feel led to help someone, that's God using us as a tool to help that person because that person prayed. And when someone comes to us out of nowhere to help us, that's God using them as a tool to help us because we prayed. It goes both ways. You have to turn to Him. The world won't help you. But God will. Turn your worry into worship. And your battles, and watch your battles turn into blessings. That's a post I put on social media a couple of days ago. I had a lot of people like it. Check it out. Your worry needs to turn into worship. And watch your battles turn into blessings. I've seen it way too often. We need to keep it up. Worship His name. Praise His name. Glorify His name. And He will take your troubles away. So that you can serve him and enjoy life the way he wants you to do. You gotta give your troubles to God. Quit worrying. I know it's hard. It's sort of ingrained into our DNA, it seems like, for us to worry about things. Like I said, we need to turn human nature into Christ nature. We need to, if we're going to be more like Christ, we can't worry. 
but we can pray. We can get on our knees. We can t take our burdens and put them at his feet. We can serve him. We can turn our backs on Satan. We can get rid of the worldly fear and fill it with Christ-like faith. Be Christ in nature today. Get rid of the human nature and fill yourself with Christ's nature. Fill yourself with Jesus. Ask Jesus to fill you with the Holy Spirit. And keep that Spirit in you daily. We are to be more like him every day. And if we don't, if we don't have troubles at the moment, that means we can help others. Ask God to use you as a tool to help someone else. I pray he does. I pray he has, I pray that he will use me as a tool, hopefully to help you. I hope these videos help you. If they do, leave me a comment. I'd like to hear back from you. And I thank you for joining me today. Remember, turn your battles and take your worries away and fill it with worship and watch your battles turn into blessings. I'm glad you joined me today. From God's reporter, I love you and God loves you too. Have a great day.